back to my shop, Rob from Woodsy Summercraft here. Today we're going to turn a nice piece of locust, uh, which was grown locally to where I live. Um, it was cut down last year, I believe, in the fall. A friend of mine gave me a big piece of it, and I chainsawed it up and cut some blanks out of it, and this is one of them. So let's get this thing turned. Okay, so I've got this piece of locust mounted on my lathe. It's about uh, 8 inches around. So locust is notoriously hard wood, very hard wood. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what pattern we get out of this. So uh, I'm going to take my bowl gouge and I'm going to start shaping this. sanded down to 220 grit so all I'm going to do now is start wet sanding it uh, I'm going to now go to 320 grit but I'm going to apply some oil and that will be my wet sanding so it will create less dust and I think this is going to bring out some uh, some nice colour and the chatoyance if that's a word, in the wood will start to pop. It's nice not working with punky wood for a change. I've been using a lot of punky wood lately and uh, it can become very troublesome. This is very stable wood. Locust is very stable wood, very understated. It's beautiful, some beautiful grain in there, some nice colors going to be exciting to get this done. Now there is a slight crack there, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's uh, just a little one. The pith was very close to that, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Sanding up a treat. I'm going to continue applying oil and continue sanding, and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to turn this bowl around. 
this bowl has been sanded down to 1500 grit and I've applied some mineral oil I'm leaving this slight uh, live edge right here and what I'm going to do now is apply Hampshire Sheen Hampshire Sheen Original now available in Canada Just going to wipe this on by hand and then let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll buff it to a shine. It's a low luster shine, it won't be uh, glossy. Just how I like it though. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for a little while and then I'll come back and I will buff that. Okay, so it's been sitting for a little while with some Hampshire Sheen on it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit and I'm going to buff it to a finish. I think you'll agree that's a nice finish. So I've given this two coats of Hampshire Sheen Original and the finish is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice low luster, very nice indeed. So what I'm going to do now is get this turned around in the chuck and uh, hollow out the inside. Now like I said before there's a small natural edge there which I'm going to try to maintain. Somewhere. Okay so I've got my round nose scraper just sharpened and uh, I'm just going to face off this bowl to get it trued up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, I had to take my uh, tool to the back of this bowl again because overnight, I'm not sure if it moved or what happened. Well, it moved. So I had to reshape the back side of the bowl and I will end up resanding and refinishing with Hampshire Sheen again. And uh, at the end of it, I am convinced we'll have a, a decent bowl. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've had to refinish the back of the bowl, which is kind of annoying, but nevertheless, it had to be done. And this crack here needs to be treated. So uh, there's a little bit of movement in the wood there with that crack. So I'm going to take some accelerator, spray it with the accelerator first, and then put in a little bit of super glue. and then let that go off and then I'll take a tool to it again and remove the excess glue and then uh, when we sand it down it should be barely noticeable. Okay so I've given the glue a little bit of time to go off it's nice and set now. Now I'm going to take my scraper again just to remove the excess glue from there. Something I've learned over the past couple of years is to try to sand the super glue away from a spot that you've super glued is virtually impossible. You're far better off to take a nice sharp tool to it and then sand it all down equally after that because it's very hard. Super glue dries extremely hard and it's just almost impossible to uh, sand it away when you've got a lump of super glue sitting there on top of the wood. So, okay, I'm going to take a little bit more off the inside with my scraper just to kind of even it out and then we'll get sanding and get a finish on it. Okay, so this is the bowl now. I've got it to where I want it. Uh, there's no real tear out in it, um, but I'm going to sand it now from uh, 100 grit all the way down to uh, 1500 grit and uh, we'll get some Hampshire sheen on it back to where it was in the picture that you may have seen on Facebook yesterday and uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves a nice bowl. I'll tell you what, locust wood is absolutely stunning wood. Uh, I always like wet sanding. With this kind of wood it's very stable as far as hardness. I mean it did actually move a little bit on me but uh, it's a very hard wood. Beautiful grain. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet sand this now. I'm going to go to 180 grit next, work all my way up to uh, 1500 grit. And then like I said, we'll get that Hampshire sheen on it and she'll be ready. But uh, we'll get it back to uh, where it was yesterday. And hopefully it won't move too much. If it moves a little bit, that's okay. I'm okay with that. As long as it doesn't crack or because uh, wood is wood is alive look at that grain wow that's stunning wow okay let's get this thing uh, sanded down and finished right so there's the piece of wood now sanded down to 1500 grit with no finish applied yet I'm going to apply some Hampshire Sheen and then let it sit for a few minutes, go get a cup of tea and then I'll get it finished and off the lathe. Okay, so once again I've applied Hampshire Sheen to this bowl all over. So now with a fresh piece of paper towel and this is the slightly stretchy paper towel, I'm going to uh, buff this to a shine on high speed. fun to make nice piece of locust the wood itself is absolutely beautiful to turn nice hard wood no punkiness at all it was a pleasure to turn and the finish Hampshire Sheen I absolutely love it it's fantastic I'll leave some links below to where you can get your hands on some um, in England the States and here in Canada now as well 
So uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Don't please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Take care now. <laughs>